Enjoy the warm weather and sunshine while we can because Gary says it sounds like by tomorrow night we're going to need jackets again. Gary? Yeah, I unfortunately, <laughs> you got to have your winter coat ready for later this week. Uh, a true winter change is coming our way in May. Unbelievable. Let's take a look outside right now, though. We can see that the grass is green and we've had a lot of moisture lately, and it's just a nice afternoon with 82 degrees at KCI, 83 degrees downtown. With the wind, it's drying out a little bit, but another storm is approaching and more rain is on the way. The drought is ending over a large area. Let's go outside live to Cynthia Newsom. Say, Cynthia. Oh, so there you are, Cynthia. Look at you. Hey, how you doing, Gary? You know what? We have been all around today. We started in Miami County, and then we went to Johnson County, and now we're here at the beautiful Brush Creek on the plaza. And everywhere we went, and the people that we talked with are all confirming that they believe that Gary is right about the drought being over. Now, as we look back, you know, farmers really suffered in this drought with the scorching sun. It just ruined the crops. Production on corn and soybean crops was really, in some cases, half of what it typically was. And homeowners were also at a loss. Lush green lawns that are typical were battered and brown because of all the heat and the sun and the lack of rain. We had more than 300 days of drought conditions. Gary met up with me here at Brush Creek to explain why we can finally close the tractor on drought in the heartland. The U.S. Drought Monitor Index that came out last week showed just east of Kansas City all the way through Missouri no longer in a drought. Kansas, from the state line westward, was technically in a drought. However, in the next week or so, another storm is going to hit. The drought is really over. And we're going to get a, a little bit more of Gary's insights into why this drought is over coming up at 5. And also, simply because it's over, homeowners, you cannot rest. You may still need to water your lawns. Uh, Mark Tobin, Toby Tobin's brother, is going to talk about that. That's all coming up at 5. We hope to see you then. Reporting live, Cynthia Newsom, 41 Action News. All right, Cynthia, we look forward to that report at 5 o'clock. But uh, look, it's lush, it's green. It is nice to see. We just need to keep these storms coming. That's good news, not much severe weather so far as well.